Hi again, it's Robert from allbellspalsy.info. Uh, today I just wanted to do um, a quick reading, really, of um, the most recent and decent study on Bell's palsy. Um, it's entitled Early Treatment with Prednisolone or, or Acyclovir in Bell's Palsy and it's by Frank M. Sullivan, PhD, uh, et al. and others, a lot of others. Um, the reason for it is uh, a lot of people obviously ask because they get different feedback from the doctors. Should I take the uh, antiviral tablets? Should I take the uh, course of steroids? Uh, my doctor's only given me one or he's given me you know, none even in some cases. Um, so let's just have a look at what the study actually says. This is the abstract. I'm going to read the whole thing, the abstract from it. Uh, the background. Uh, corticosteroids and antiviral agents are wisely, widely used to treat the early stages of idiopathic facial paralysis, Bell's palsy. But their effectiveness is uncertain, and that's why the doctors, I'm um, ad-libbing here obviously, that's in the, the uh, study, but that's why the doctors you know, often give people different types of treatment. Uh, so the methods are used. We conducted a double-blind, placebo-controlled, randomised factorial trial involving patients with Bell's palsy who were recruited within 72 hours, that's very important for uh, the steroids, um, after the onset of symptoms. Patients were randomly assigned to receive 10 days of treatment, that's quite normal, with prednisolone, that's the steroid, acyclovir, that's the antiviral um, course, with both agents, so both of those, uh, or just a placebo. In other words, nothing, but they think that they're getting one or the other of those treatments. The primary outcome was recovery of facial function, which is what we're all after, as rated on the House Brackman scale. Now, I will do a video on that. I don't even think that's on the website at the moment. Uh, but it's a scale to, to show uh, how damaged uh, facial nerves are. Um, secondary outcomes included quality of life, that's nice of them, uh, appearance and pain. So this is the results that they had. Final outcomes were assessed for 496 of 551 patients, so a decent study, who underwent randomisation. At three months, the proportions of patients who had recovered facial function were 83% in the prednisolone group, so that's the steroids group, as compared, as compared with 63.6%, well, quite a huge difference, among patients who did not receive prednisolone, uh, the steroid again, and 71.2% in the acyclovir, so the antiviral group, as compared with 75.7% among patients who did not receive acyclovir. As I, a cyclovir, the antiviral uh, course. After nine months, these proportions were 94.4% for prednisolone and 81.6% for no prednisolone, 85.4% for a cyclovir and 90.8% for no acyclovir. Now, just reading that, it looks like you're better off not bothering with the ant antiviral tablets. Certainly at uh, nine months, there was 5% more recovered better without taking them. And also at... Uh, yes, also at three months. That's amazing. So 4% more at three months had recovered better. Yeah, definitely. I'd recovered better without taking the antivirals. Amazing, I didn't know that. Um, for patients treated with both the drugs, the proportions were 79.7% at three months and 92.7% at nine months. So, uh, again, that just seems to reflect people who were on the actual steroids. There's no real difference between those who were taking both. Amazing. There were no clinically significant differences between the treatment groups in secondary outcomes. If you remember, that was the quality of life, appearance and pain. There were no serious adverse events in any group. Well, 
I think that's enlightening. It's certainly enlightened me. And I, I've, read, I've read it quite a few times, but I've never read it in such, you know, thinking about the detail in it. So if you can get the steroids, it looks, it will heal on its own. But if you can get the steroids <coughs> from your doctor, then it looks like they do have, or may have, they certainly did in this study, have a beneficial effect in speeding up and perhaps um, in the completeness of your recovery. So, another thing good to know. You can actually get this whole study, I believe, on a, a website called controlled-trials.com and the number for it is uh, ISRCTN71548196. So, phonetic alphabet, hopefully. Indigo, Sierra, Romeo, Charlie, Tango, oh, forgot what that is, November, there you go, it's an N anyway, and then the number 71548196, and I'll put it in the, the thingy below. Um, okay, as I always say, please go to visit the site, um, please buy the ebook. Uh, that helps us to keep going, to keep providing videos and better information for you. Okay? As always, I wish you a speedy and complete recovery. Until then, take care.